Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing more Final Fantasy XII, and we just made it to the Soul Shrine of Miriam so we can get the Sword of Kings and hopefully use that to fight against Vayne. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for being here. See you guys in the comments. You know how it goes. You're awesome. All right, let's do it. Where are we at? Still Shrine of Miriam, Walk of Sky. Mm. What if we did this? There might be a reason that I had the parties set up the way they were that I'm not thinking of right now. Like a reason why I didn't want to, wouldn't want to trade those two out, but I can't think of one at the moment. So this is team BBA, so I can remember. And then the other team is all the weird letters, V, B, uh, V, F, and P. Okay, so BBA. BBA. Ooh, Sphinx. Kind of thing. We can get the Sword of Kings in the Still Shrine of Miriam. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, crap. I skipped a break! Let's take a break after we talk to these people. The legendary tells us, The Swords of Kings was never meant to be used for the base spilling of blood. Thank you on those- on these words. Of their own accord will the doors part for one with the blessing of the Grand Kiltius. Grateful and merciful father watch over you, Faram. The Sword of Kings, gift of King Wraithwall, rests within. It is said that only one worthy of the title Dynast King might take up the sword. Does that mean our girl here is the only one who'll be able to wield it? Look at her shield! so cool you know i never really he has the same one i never really looked at their weapons in this game and i kind of feel like i should have been paying attention to what their weapons look like when i switch them out okay what is what is the significance of the title dynast king does that have any meaning outside of this game or is it just something that they've they've made up for this game is it like dynasty dynast king the dynast king was a big deal and i just wonder how he became such a big deal like why is he so special why does he have all these like ancient like relics and like powerful items that are attached to his name oh best way you can describe it is the dynast king is reminiscent of the japanese romanticism of oda nobunaga or Ie ieyasu rulers who united the land through conquest but eventually brought peace and unity okay ancient door we have been granted access Ooh, 
it's like a... Well, they said it's a shrine. It's like a tomb, almost. I don't know, it just feels very... Like we're inside a pyramid or something. have here pedestal of the dawn read the inscription the words seem to have been left by king wraithwall treaty seeker relic held this pedestal embrace touch it we need Here's just stealing. <laughs> Look at this guy. Does he have a tail? You have a tail? Stone. Nethysite bearer, embracer of dawn's light, I summon you. Words left by King Wraithwall. Touch. Nothing happens, the device remains asleep. other paths we can take here. Let me just make sure this still does nothing. We fought those zombies. Okay, the zombies are just gonna show up whenever. Wait, so we'll go this way. seem to have been laid, left by King Wraithwall. In time of strife, the treaty seeker these doors to unbar. from within. Hmm. Well, I really thought that that would lead me somewhere. But it doesn't seem like it. Look at this big guy. Look at him. the inscription again of the zombie summoning thing treaty seeker relic held this pedestal embrace relic held so do i have to equip the dawn shard is that our relic Oh. 
The magic's binding the ruins fade. Whoa. Where the heck? Oh my goodness. Are we? Oh gosh, we don't know where we're at. Okay, thank you for the hint. Dragon Avis. Oh, we fought these before. There's something that looks like them, anyways. They didn't set off the trap. Um, what is countdown? Oh, countdown. Oh, it's a time magic. Reduce one of foe's HP to zero after a short time. Oh, so it's kind of like doom. And then we get to sing final countdown every time we use it. Okay, let's read the inscription and think carefully about what we're reading this time. Treaty seeker relic held this pedestal embrace paths untrod to discover. Okay, touch it. Hidden path is revealed. I am also digging the music in this place, Max. It's nice. we want to go life crystal hey crystal bug what a what a tease Oh, there we go. Thank you. It still appears. Okay, good. Ooh, maybe there's a boss fight coming up if there's a, a save crystal where you can save and heal. Okay. Oh god, there he 
Balthier put him to sleep. Nice. Oh, this thing's still alive? It just vanished. I thought it, we killed it. Sword of Judgment. Oh, that's the sword. Whoa. The statue bears an inscription left by King Wraithwall. To Guardians Three, I trust that the worthy may pass, all others be shunned. Ooh. Magic's binding the door fade. Touching in this game tonight. Touching all the things. Okay, so now we're back here. Does that mean we can go through this door now? this side yay a little bit of a puzzle this place is what's in here oh yeah wonka lots of exploring there's a bomb diggity up there Piece of fire magicite. Are they attacking us with boiling water? It's kind of amazing. That would really hurt. Also, I just don't think I've ever seen an enemy attack me with boiling water, so that's really interesting. Like, I think he would come at me with fire or something. We are getting level ups! flesh ew don't put that in your pocket dude stone brave read the inscription words left by king wraithwall guardians three face ye the blade with relic bearer join 
Your fealty swear to me. Examine. You discover a mechanism in the statue's base. The statue looks as though it can be rotated. Oh. Face ye the blade. Face ye the blade. Oops. Okay, well, where's the blade? Let's rotate it clockwise. Oh no, let's face him here and let's go this way and see what's up, what's over here. We might have to come back to that. This is the door that only opens from one side, I think. Maybe? No, it's not. this statue face the wrong way. Oh, well, the map, the map shows me which direction it is facing, so. That's a nice visual. That'll probably help us. that I don't even know what they are that Balthier can cast with his shades of black like toxicity or whatever what is that besides a, a system of a down song oh mate wait mm. it's not poison but I guess something different there's a status called disease I don't know what that is I feel like these things are already diseased. Ooh, flare. A platinum sword. And a shura. And a high potion. Platinum sword. Ashura sounds like a katana or something. Maybe. It is a ninja sword. Ninja swords won. Oh, Vaughn could do it. All right, let's check it out. Oh God, why is he equipped the bow? 72. Ooh, quite a bit stronger than his Gladius. Is that what he was using? Yeah. Let's see. It has on hit blind. So that doesn't seem bad. Look at these guys. Is that a sheep with a kazoo? A ram with a kazoo, I mean? Your remote. Oh, my goodness. 
Guardians 3, face ye the blade with relic bearer join your fealty, swear to me. But okay, let's look at our map here. Do we just make them face over here? I don't know. Okay, I think we have probably one more statue we want to rearrange. We just want to hope we can figure out which way we're supposed to get these guys to face. Oh, wait, what is this? Boss fight? What am I looking at? What the hell am I looking at? It has three faces, maybe four? A magnetic field envelops the party? Wait, what did it say? Venus Scar. They were still a little bit over leveled. <laughs> mincemeat of that despite the gimmick i it died so fast i don't even know what the gimmick was sage's ring what's that reduces mp cost by half and absorb what is that symbol light reduce mp cost by half does anybody need that right now i don't think anybody necessarily needs that but it's gonna be good to have characters wearing heavy armor were slowed oh eh. doesn't seem like too big of a deal all right, let's see. All right, please, something good happen. The Colossus has undergone some change. Ah, I think we did it. Where was the Colossus there? I think I know where to go. Poor Bosh, he's all oily.
The way past the Colossus is open. Oh, ho, ho. okay, so this way. I'm not sure if this is right. Where does that put us? Oh yeah, this looks this looks like it. Neg Negal Moor. Negal Moor? Doom. <laughs> nope, sorry, Bosh. Looks like your days are numbered. Inscription Wisdom proven. Assay now your power. What does assay mean? Assay? Wisdom proven. Assay now your power. Open the door. a boss fight with doom ice azer casting blizzard hey okay, hold on hold on equip do i have anything that's like i have an ice shield and well should i keep the dawn shard on him does it matter anymore Magic resistance 20. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Oh my god. Oh, Mate Mateus? here you have fire Uh, 
Let me use this X potion. It didn't even fully heal me. Is that a full heal? Okay, she's awake. I'm gonna use a hero moat. Why not? Oh, the Isis are casting. They can cast Kiraga. Shit! If we kill them, are they is are they just gonna spawn more? Maybe we should try taking him out. She's sleeping again. Almost through with this. She's sleeping again. Are you making more of those guys? Come on. Oh, yeah, fire does two thousand damage, huh? You're doing that. to me? Does it have reflect? Because I think that I think I just killed myself. Medusa thing.
We got the Esper, Mateus, the Corrupt. Ooh. Ah, I forgot about, I didn't even use my, um, quickenings. <laughs> Could have used our quickenings there. We got a whole bunch of new ones, too. I completely forgot about that mechanic. Bubble moat. Bubble moat. Bubble bubble moat. Bubble moat. Bubble bubble moat. I'll give... Bosch... Mateus, I think. So, were you saying, Max, that there were certain places that we could reach on the board only with um, an Esper? Bosch died to my own fire like five times. <laughs> Look at that. I can get Kiraga and Regen on Bosch. I'm sold. Let's do it. Kiraga and Regen. And I don't have enough to get the rest, but we can give him Kiraga. Cool. We got some heels up in here. Can we get this oil off my poor guy here? I guess when he died, it didn't uh, take the oil off. And he died from the doom. Or like when he died uh, all those times from the fire. <laughs> All right, here we go. sword You should try it on the Dawn Shard. See if it can destroy Nethicide or not. What? He just may be onto something. The Dawn Shard's no use to us, after all. <laughs> the stone bleeds mist. It has been roused. It fears the sword. The stone is quiet. 
This is the sword, the Nethysite Destroyer. Should it find its mark? So is Vaughn. his ghost is actually in that Dawn Shard? Tell me, did you see him again? I didn't. Not a thing. Not even my brother. Not... not anything. We have the Sword of Kings! So what if we did something like... Um... Target... Status Reflect? And we'll want to prioritize attacking that one over using water and whatnot. Does that make sense? All these airship armadas keep creeping up on us. What's up with that? Look at that thing. That is so... it almost looks like a whale. A bird, maybe like a flying fish. <gasps> there, smug. What could it mean? I think that was one of the judges, so I'm guessing that's the Empire. Um, wait, where are we supposed to go now? Smoke's coming from Mount Boromasis. And where there's smoke, we gotta hurry. Oh, Mount Bur okay. Let's go. Um, there's probably some stuff we could sell. Wait, what did he say? That were a surprise, and none of it good. A whole em empire's worth of troops must have been on that airship. Glad none of my wares were taken. Remember when I said it was really nice that this place doesn't is like the empire doesn't mess with them and they're pretty much away from the empire i have a feeling that that is changing like as we speak and i don't like it i mean all these people are refugees because the empire destroyed their homes New bazaar goods, magic shards, aquara moats. I thought the Imperial's gone, yet just a moment ago I heard screams from the temple. Are you sure you're quite prepared? Oh no! What do you have? Fuzzy mitter? Miter? bio okay the temple is I believe this way Oh 
Oh no, what happened? Those judges, I thought they were protectors of the law, but they are only cruel brutes bullying the weak. There are still Imperials up in the temple. I'd stay clear of the place where I you. Mama was standing with the Kiltius, and the man in armor knocked her down. She can't get up for the pain. Mama! He just smacked her? Our home. Our home. No, they have- they got their home taken away for the second time. I really hate the Empire more and more every time I play this. The Kiltius, they tried to stop the soldiers. The Imperials set fire to our tents as punishment. Dude, what the heck? The Arcadians, a judge leading armed men, those who went to stop them, slain every one. You and the Lady Ash, quickly, you must leave the temple. They are still there. Oh no, we are not leaving until we kick some imperial butt. We began speaking with the Arcadian forces that arrived when the judge, he suddenly drew his blade. That, that they would profane the holy mountain of the Kiltius so has Arcadia no fear of the gods. You must not go near the temple. The judge, he is still there. His grace, Anastasis, tempts to reason with him. The judge cut down all Kiltius who tried to stop him and profaned the temple. I pray his grace is unharmed. That man, a monster. So many people felled with but a single blow. I've been training for this moment. That's when I began to grow close to them. They started killing each other. It is as I feared. Hume behavior is savage and ugly. That is true. You're not wrong there. Okay, let's see what the heck is going on in here. Princess, swift has your lust for revenge led you to the Sword of Kings. Did he kill him? You will surrender it to me. Too late and to their sorrow do those who misplace their trust in gods learn their fate. There it is again. This is the guy with that swagger. I think he's the guy who was walking before when they were... Fran. I don't like the look they of that. They were showing the judges. He holds a stone. It controls him as it did Mien. No, no. The power of manufactured nethersite is the power of man. A weapon forged by his wisdom who would challenge the gods themselves. A fitting blade for a true dynast king. Wraithwall did but pretend the title. A curb begging nethersite scraps from his master's table. 
Hark! Evil Lee's hails her true dynast king, Vain Solidor. Ugh. He shall defy Blech. the will of the gods and see the reins of history back in the hands of man. His time is nigh! The new Evil Lee's holds no place for the name down Masca. The stain of Wraithwall's blood shall be washed oh. clean from oh, he history's has two weave. Of them. Okay. Anyways, uh, Judge Bergen. I don't know if he's the same one, but the scene like one or two streams ago when they were showing some of the judges, uh, one of them was walking with like this hip sway and I was like, oh, that must be a woman. And then it wasn't the woman. It was one of the men. <laughs> I was just like, damn, like he's got some real swagger going on. I think it's this guy <laughs> or maybe they all do. I don't know. Okay, Bergen, he has Protect and Shell. All right, can we, um, what do we have? Let's just look at what we have. Dispel. Did that work? Yeah, it did. It did for now anyways. He might reapply it immediately, but it looks like it, it did something. items here wait you have black magic ooh to all foes in range oh my god but while she's doing that she's not healing oh wait but we have a heal we could use quickenings as well. I don't know why Bosch doesn't have any... Oh, he must be equipped with something that takes away his charges and his MP. I think I remember something about that. Well, that's not right. He has the Dawn Shard. I need to give more accessory, like, I need to get more accessories going in my um, licenses. Okay, now he's gaining that. His charge is going up, I think. Ooh, there's some stuff going on. I don't know who's doing what, but... Ooh, time magic. Let's see. Let's try to slow the judge. Is she disabling him? Oh, let's use our quickening before it's too late. Or do we have a, um... Do we have a summon? Oh, Mateus. Oh, but he doesn't have... He's the one that doesn't have a thingy. Oh, 
Maelstrom's Bolt. Three. Let's see what happens. do a lot of damage. I never miss. My regards. I never miss. Oh, I get it with the shuffle. Okay. Hey, he's dead. <laughs> the mist energy <sighs> he set his very bones about with manufactured netherside the grand kiltius <sighs> wait what about larsa gone spirited away by juchka brandt you okay? So he was here. Ah, as for our young lordling, he went along. To avoid trouble, you see, but Judge Bergen had other ideas. He flew into a rage, and I was left to fend for myself. Please, Princess, you must permit me to take you back with me to Rosaria. So that you can protect me? I would lay down my life at a single word to be sure, but I harbor no maundering delusions of valiant grandeur. Vain has our war pavilion jumping at shadows. They favor a preemptive strike, but you, you will convince them otherwise. You will see that they do not start this war. This I cannot do. Forgive me, but my errand here is not yet done. I must wield the Sword of Kings, and with it bring an end to the Dusk Shard. <sighs> this stone, do you even know what it is? I can venture a guess. The Draclaw Laboratory in Arcades. The Empire's weapons research begins and ends there. How soon do we leave? At once. As for matters in Rosaria, I bid you luck. So you would leave each to fend for his own. Let us hope that you are not disappointed. Ah, that's right. Larsa left a message. The differences between our two lands will fade before the shared dream of men. My leave, I take. <laughs> That was the best exit ever. Puts on the glasses. My leave I will take. How do you propose we reach Arcades? Arcadia's borders will be well guarded for fear of Rosarian invasion. We dare not approach by air. And their navy will see that the coast is watched as well. No, we go afoot. We'll cross into Arcadia in the Salica Wood. We can reach the wood any number of ways, but the easiest is to head north from Nalbana. There is a hunter's camp just beyond the Salica Wood. The camp sits within Arcadia's borders, so Imperial patrols there should be sparse. Getting that far should be half the fun. Let's be sure we go prepared. Ooh. Okay. We're, we've got a long ways to go. Okay, so what I got from that cutscene was... So Larsa went 
with the Empire, with the judges. Um, so that it, pretty much to prevent unnecessary bloodshed, but that one judge that stayed behind and threw a fit decided to just go go ham anyways. Um, Ash, so what's his name? The Rosarian guy. He asked to take Ash back with well yeah he didn't look very stable yeah because he was that judge put nethesite like i don't know if it like literally in his body but it sounds like maybe he did and that kind of made him go crazy probably so all sid or al sid or however you say it asked um princess ash to go back with him to try to because the Rosarian forces are, they're tired of like being afraid of, of their own shadows and just um, being super scared of what the empire might do at any moment that they want to strike first. And Alcid doesn't want that to happen, uh, but she said, no, deal with it yourself. I need to destroy the Dawn Shard. And so she's taking the sword that we got to go do that so there's the dusk shard the dawn shard and the oh, well, there was another one midnight or something like that so the status of oh midlight so the dawn shard we have the dusk shard is the one that Vaughn stole at first from the castle and the Empire got it. And the Midlight Shard, we haven't seen it, but we are assuming that the Empire has that one as well. Yes? Correct? Okay, uh, we're good. We're squared. It took you some studying in the bestiary here, but you understand all the lore now. The bestiary ha- wait. Marks espers. Ooh, we could read about the espers. Check any random entry that doesn't have a number next to it. It'll have multiple pages. The numbers mean kill this many more to unlock more lore. <gasps> what? Ooh, the Arcadian Empire. <gasps> oh, there is info on people too. Okay, so... Any without a number next to it. So, Cactoid has two pages. So... When we first encountered a cactoid, the first page was there. And then when we killed a certain amount of them, the second page unlocked. Regions of misladen winds and magicite rich soil, precluding the proper operation of skystone. Shifts in weather have been known to make yagged, yagged where once there was none. Though the reverse has never been recorded by the chronicles of such things, as airships cannot operate in Yogd, no such region is under the control of a major country, making the Yogds lawless, perilous places. So where the mist and the magicite is high concentration, these areas as set, known as the Yogd are the result, and airships cannot fly around over those places meaning the empire really doesn't have any hold there or at least very very little probably none and once a place is yogged then it cannot be unyogged like a non-yogged place a non-mist place can turn misty but there's never been a record of the mist leaving that area once it appears the age of King Wraithwall. Many were the countries and kingdoms dotting Ivalice, and many were the wars waged in this time. Legend says that Wraithwall, a noble from a small country in Valendia, was granted a stone and magicite from his gods, and with these artifacts, a mission to unify the land. 
strategic genius and deep empathy with his people were evident in his rule of Valendia, and from there he went on to take control of the remaining two continents. Soon, all Ivalice belonged to the Galtean Alliance, and a golden age had begun. Now king of all he surveyed, Wraithwall was a benevolent and just king, guiding the Alliance for near half a century. After his death, the Alliance held firm and new peace and prosperity for 400 years until its disillusion with the passing of the last of Wraithwall's direct descendants. Dang, this is so cool! You guys know I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. I'm probably going to spend some time maybe killing some of these enemies and reading about... All this stuff. Should we learn about Sky Pirates? Sky Pirates, a name for the free folk who ply open, ply the skies open. Sk Sky Pirates, a name for the free folk who ply the skies open. <laughs> Sky Pirates, a name for the free folk who ply the open skies in airships. That's a tough one. English is tough. Though they are collectively called pirates, their actual occupations vary by individual. Some search for legendary treasures, some merely travel the world, while others are indeed ruthless villains who attack trade ships and plunder goods for profit. In recent years, the Arcadian Empire has stepped up patrols, bringing in the worst of the lot, but all consigning the more flamboyant feats of piracy to history. Oh, all but consigning. Of late, many are the pirates who have given up the thief's life for that of the headhunter, bringing their former comrades in arms to justice for a bounty. Those few who remain pirates have struggled hard to retain the title and are duly proud of it. Interesting. Judge Ge Geese? Gis? Gis? Is it Jif or Gif? <laughs> Geese or Jis or Gis or Jis? I don't know. Being one of the judge magisters of the Arcadian Empire. Okay, so there's... Hold on. Efficient of the 13th Bureau and Commander of the Leviathan, the flagship of the 8th Fleet of Western Armada, led by Lord Vane. In addition to official duties as judge, he also works in secret, carrying out tasks assigned him by Vane personally. So, there are lots of judges, but the judge magisters are kind of the, the big shots in charge, the leaders. Judge Bergen. This is, yeah, this is the guy with them hips. Like, look at them hips. This guy doesn't have those hips like that, does he? No, he got normal hips. Look at these hips. Those hips don't lie. <laughs> So Judge Bergen, Judge Magister of the Arcadian Imperial Army, Director of the Second Bureau, a warrior by training, he was a he has a personal affinity for weapons and combat. His experience with warfare has positioned him as the Empire's preeminent judge of uh, overseeing invasion and military em envoys. A staunch supporter of Lord Vane, also a believer in administration by force, he has dedicated his life to ensuring Vane's aspirations come to fruition. This is so cool. We're gonna have to look into the bestiary more. 